Hey everyone, I have something very special to share with you today. Uh, it took a while to get this, and I'll explain that here in a little bit, but the topic has been brought up by a couple of people, my boy Risky Krisky, and I'm kind of, I'm not, I don't want to piggyback, but in tandem with his video that he made, I'm going to show you a slick vest option that's available on the market right now. One of the biggest issues with slick vests or low profile or concealable vests right now is most of the time they're only coming in one of two colors or three colors. Black, coyote brown, and like OD green or ranger green. Some gray. I found a company that makes camouflage pattern uh, uh, slick vests and other plate carrier systems. Um, I went with the slick vest option. This is a veteran owned company in Canada. So it's a Canadian military veteran from the global war on terror. Uh, the company is called gear dynamics based in Canada. Um, I believe there is at least one U S company that's also making camouflage print pattern slick vests. Um, but I was having trouble getting a hold of them and such. And I found gear dynamics uh, at the beginning of the year and placed an order for this uh, slick vest to run in tandem with my ops plate carrier or uh, my ops chest rig uh, in uh, US Woodland M81 uh, Woodland uh, along with my M81 US Woodland uniforms um, because that's my preference outside of like Geo 7 and some other systems um, gear dynamics in Canada um, it took a while to get this because um, they were having some base material uh, supply issues as everyone is right now in the logistically and with the economy and just shipping nightmares right now. Um, but they were able to get their stuff in and then he was uh, expanding and renovating his uh, production facility. So the lead time on this ended up being close to nine months, but it was very much worth the wait. Uh, in my opinion, um, a, it was something that I really wanted and, uh, B, I'm just happy to support our veteran brothers and sisters with another veteran owned company, especially in Canada right now. They're dealing with a lot of crap with their government. So I was happy to support him and, uh, he provides a really good product. Um, it says on their website that they've provided, uh, products to the Irish, uh, mil uh Irish branches of the military and police forces. Um, they've pro provided vests to uh, other European military companies or uh, uh, military entities, some private companies, and of course, U.S. and Canadian consumers, um, whether it is law enforcement or anyone else. So, uh, yeah, let's go over it here. So, pretty standard baseline thing. So, they do the laser cut nylon for Molly systems. So, there is that Molly opportunity here. Obviously, I'm not going to be doing any of that with this because I'm keeping it a slick vest, uh, just a, a, a slick plate carrier uh, to go under the chest rig um, for as low profile as possible. It can also be worn, you know, under under uh, clothing or whatever. So pretty nice. <sighs> really good uh, <laughs> Velcro there. So I have plates in it right now. Um, just some, just some uh, AR500 uh, level three plus plates. I don't, I'm not going to get into the debate of ballistic plates and body armor and stuff, uh, you know, it, with, with plates in that regard, okay? Um, so it comes with the section cummerbund. Put that here. So it's laser cut nylon. And uh, the cummerbund is in two pieces, left and right side, feeds through, Velcro's in behind this panel. And then you have the sectional panel that comes undone here for plate insert. Now I've got 10 by 12 plates in here and it is very snug in here, which I really like because it's tight and it's not going to move around inside the carrier, inside the vest. Um, standard, just a basic feed through, Velcro shoulder strapping. Nothing crazy. It does come with these additional uh, sleeves. There are options to get padded sleeves for these as well, but 
I, I've been wearing it and it's comfortable. So a little bit of uh, Velcro here for patches on the back and stuff. And I just got this. So I haven't put anything on it yet. And then in the front as well. Velcro section here for securing the cummerbund when you put it on. So I've got, you know, it's secured in the back and then just, it's got these nice pull tabs on both, uh, on both the uh, cummerbund sides to uh, get this on and off easily. So fairly, fairly thin. This is, uh, it's kind of hard to tell. I can't tell if this is 500 denier or 1000 denier Cordura nylon. But it's it's robust and it, it's it's holding these plates and steel plates are a little bit heavier and it's holding them fine, no issues there. Again, I've been wearing it, kind of getting it broken in a little bit, and uh, it's very comfortable. I will do a, t a demo test of wearing it and showing it to you with the Ops chest rig on. Uh, I got mine through 0241 Tactical. There's one of the only retailers that's bringing in the optimal performance system or Ops. Uh, gear equipment being pants chest rigs things like that but uh main focus here is for that in tandem is this slick vest so uh it's very simple as a slick vest should be pretty it's low profile and uh i it's it's comfortable to wear padding not really any padding on the underside okay it's a slick vest it's going to be as tight of the body as possible and again with the discussion that Risky Krisky and some other people have had as well, this is purely situational METC dependent for running a slick vest. If you're doing some kind of low profile, high risk operation, if you know that you're going to be getting into some heavy contact out in, out in the sticks or whatever, you know, urban E&E, escape and evasion, or urban operations, things like that, those kinds of situations, that's where you're going to be using a slick vest, you know, with, with body armor. Okay, if you're just out doing long-range patrols and reconnaissance in the sticks, I mean, you're going to do everything you can to avoid detection and minimize and mitigate direct action in high-risk uh, uh, situations. So, direct action being going into combat, getting into a tick, troops in contact kind of thing. You're not going to want to be wearing really any kind of body armor on a long ass patrol if you're not really expecting to come up on a huge force um, and doing basic reconnaissance type things and other small unit tactic stuff to where you're you know trying to avoid detection for the most part. This is for when you know something big is going to kick off or you know that you're going to be going into a fight or you need to get out of an extremely dangerous situation and you have the ability and luxury to be able to put this on and get the hell out. So those considerations aside, um, I'm very happy with this. Uh, the camouflage pattern itself matches perfectly with the ops rig and my US Woodland uniform. So it is a comprehensive camouflage system um, apart from being a, uh, a body armor piece of equipment. I really like the straps too because on the outside of the straps it's got the camouflage too. It makes makes me really happy because some of the manufacturers out there they're making their straps and they're just like a solid block color or you know whatever it is. So um, yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. Gear Dynamics out of Canada. Um, there may be some lead times if you decide to order through them. They have a bunch of different camouflage patterns including ATAX. Um, they've got flak tar and they've got a bunch of different camo patterns that they can do. I went with this because it's still one of the best camo patterns out there and it's OG and I love it. Um, and I still rock it. So, um, but they have options. If you want, if you want OCP multicam, they've got it. If you want ATAX, they've got it. If you know, they've got a bunch of them. Um, and they have a couple of different ways and configurations of how they manufacture and can offer as far as a product. Um, you can do more of a standard plate carrier type setup. They've got panels that, that, that they offer. They've got all kinds of stuff. They also have helmet scrims. Uh, if you wanted camo pattern, uh, you know, camouflaging helmet scrims, they also have those. Um, again, one of the only companies I've found that actually does camo pattern slick vests um, for, you know, 
those applications and considerations for Minutemen, military, paramilitary, whatever it is. So, very happy with this. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, I'll jump over to just showing me wearing it. And, uh, yeah, just kind of, uh, explain a little bit there, but, uh, that's about it. So, highly recommend Gear Dynamics out of Canada. Our Canadian veteran brother up there, um, if you want to order through him. Um, yeah, there it is. Let me show this to you guys here, wearing it. Okay, so this is the Ops chest rig on the Gear Dynamics Slick Vest. You can see it's a full comprehensive, it's, it's, it's a full camel coverage system. I'll turn around real quick here. You can see how it's kind of got it set in back. Tape and police the tails on your shit. Okay, so um, my mags are oriented this way because they're empty right now. They would be oriented the other way if they were loaded. If you know, you know. Um, canteen here, I usually keep the IFAC on the right hand side, you know, pistol mags and stuff. I don't have stuff in those right now. Um, but this is what it looks like with the comprehensive setup that I'm going to run um, as far as with a chest rig and a slick vest system. Again, situation dictates wearing body armor and a slick vest, okay? So, got the chest rig, I'm running that all the time for patrols, rec reconnaissance, things like that. This comes out when direct action happens or a high risk situation, an E&E, &E, an e &E, whatever's gonna happen is gonna come out, so, okay? So, this is what it looks like. Looks great, I love it in my opinion. It, it's fantastic, I'm very happy with this uh, uh, acquisition. Now again, with fitting your body armor, where does the top of your plate wanna sit? right just under the notch of your clavicles and your sternum at the top right here okay that's where you want the top of the plate sitting the plate okay 10 by 12 plate is going to come right to just above your navel okay this is for protecting your heart and your vital organs okay that's that's what it is there's no side plates happy coverage or anything front and back okay that's it so this is what it is great comprehensive system I love that I found a company that was able to make a camouflage slick vest for my needs. Again, go check out Gear Dynamics. Uh, link for their website will be in the description below, okay? So uh, check it out. I'll throw the link for 0241 Tactical down there too if you want an ops chest rig and they got some other good stuff, okay? So um, yeah, that's it. Metal up. Out. It is snowing. We have a kind of blizzard coming through. Let it snow. <laughs> Fuck yeah!